Let's learn how to create a template page using the wiki host edit me. Okay, I'm on an edit me classroom site and I want to create a template. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to create a new page. So I'm going to click new over here. And uh, I'm going to, let's say for this example, I'm a teacher and a, a nice template to have on your website would be a syllabus. So I'm going to call this template syllabus. And I'm going to leave these settings, the template and the parent page, um, the same right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Now, this is critical. When you're creating a template, you give it a name that you can remember when you're going to your template tab. But once you've created that, you're going to come in and delete this. We don't want it to be indexed by EditMe on our regular pages we want to tell edit me it's a template and we do so by deleting that. Now what I might do is uh, if I'm creating a syllabus maybe I'm going to use my table. I could come up here and I can click insert a table and I can put columns and rows and all of that and I've already done that to save time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in uh, what I have already using my paste up here and uh, here's what I've created. So let's just say and, and actually in the template we, we wouldn't have this information and we wouldn't have uh, this. All, all we would have is blanks. The idea of the template is to create as much content as you can that is repeatable and then only uh, leave blanks for places that you are going to type new information in. So the idea here is that we're going to create a new syllabus for our students every week and we're going to create a nice list of these so that they could always go back and look at these anytime they want. So I might just leave it exactly like this. I've got week of, I've got the days of the week, and I've got in-class activities, outside of class. If you wanted to put something down here you might. Maybe you want to get a graphic and you could put a, a picture, picture of yourself, a picture of your class, uh, anything you want that you don't have to put in anymore. And then I'm going to save and close this template. Okay, and that's it. Now, here's the key. Let's say that the next thing I want to do, and, and by the way, over here you see I've created a blank class syllabus page, and that's not a template, it's just a page. But that way it gives me a place to list all of my syllabus template pages under. So let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new page again. And this one now, let's say I'm going to call September 6th. And that maybe that's the uh, a week. Now it's, it's critical here to select the syllabus template. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to click syllabus. Parent page here is important because I want this to go underneath my class syllabus parent page. Because I'm creating a list. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. And see, automatically I have this in here. This is very nice because this, again, is my template. And now I would just come in and type in activities. You know, maybe I'm a science teacher, weather unit. And maybe the homework is chapter one in our textbook. And then maybe, you know, something over here, uh, lab one and it's uh, text questions. Okay, and I can put other things in there and then I can save and close that. And you notice right away, and this is very nice. Now, this has come under my class syllabus. Let's say I go to new, I come back to my default and I pick my syllabus and I go to the next week of the year, which is September 13th, and I create that. September 13 and I click uh, again I want this to be a child of class syllabus and I click submit I've got this uh, you know I put week of 9 13 to 17 and you know, homework uh, chapter 3 and, and you know uh, unit 2 whatever I can put anything I want into and I save and close that and I've got it right here 
And that's how you create a template with EditMe.